Good day everyone. Today I will be discussing to you on how are you going to use this self-learning module, specifically uh, in general mathematics. So the purpose of this video is to guide you on what part of the module you will give your answer and how and where are you going to answer this. Kasi upon releasing a module for week 1, maraming sudyanteng nagtatanong kung saan part ba ng module sila magsisimulang magsakot. Okay? So, first, so we have the cover page. So, cover page, it includes the subject and of course, what quarter at pang ilang module na siya. So, in our case, we have module 5 and the lesson title or a topic for the second page is the information about this module so it includes the author or the writer and the publishing house of this module kasi copyrighted po ang module na ito then for the third page we have the title page and then the second page uh, the next page is the introductory message a message for the teacher and also for the uh, learners then this module has the following parts and corresponding icons so these are the different parts of our module so mamaya we discuss natin to one by one so we have the what I need to know what I know what's in what's new then what is it what's more what I have learned what I can do assessment additional activities and of course the answer key so before that we have the following the following are some reminders in using this module so first use the module with care do not put unnecessary marks on any part of the module then use a separate sheet of paper in answering the exercises so you can use clean band paper or yellow paper in answering this module so do not write anything on this module then number two don't forget to answer what I know before moving on to other activities included in the module so you will start answering on what I know or the pretest of this module third read the instruction carefully before doing each task number four observe honesty and integrity in doing the task and checking your answers kasi my answer key naman tayo sa last page then five finish the task at hand before proceeding to the next so please don't skip the activities given or even skipping the lesson. Number six, return this module to your teacher or facilitator once you are through with it. So schedule of retrieving and distributing of your module is every Monday. So where to <coughs> where? So of course to your class advisor of your section. And take note, students are not allowed to get and submit the module. Only your parent or guardian ang pwedeng kumuha at magsauli ng inyong self-learning module. If you encounter any difficulty in answering the tasks in this module, do not hesitate to consult your teacher or facilitator. Then, always bear in mind that you are not alone. So, you may ask your advisor or even me, your subject teacher through your GC o pwede kayong mag PM sa akin so let's proceed to the different parts of our module so first part is what I know so ito yung icon nya what I need to know sorry so let's proceed so what I need to know so, ano yung what I need to know? This will give you an idea of the skills 
or competencies you are expected to learn in the module. So these are the lesson objectives of your uh, module. So for example, after going through this module, you are expected to so represent real-life situation using rational functions, distinguishes rational functions, rational equations, and rational inequality. So these are the competencies that you need to attain or to achieve after finishing this module. And take note, hindi ito kailangang sasagutan kasi as what I have said, this is on the learning objective. Next is what I know. So, what I know, this part includes an activity that aims to check what you already know about the lesson to take. If you get all the answers correct, 100%, you may decide to skip this module. So this is a pretest. Okay, the purpose of this is to evaluate your existing knowledge about the lesson. And we don't need you to get all correct answer of this pretest. Kung ano lang ang kaya niyong may sagot, yun lang. Wag ipilit kung di pa kaya. And don't worry, it will not affect your grade or your performance. Kasi pretest lang siya. Next is what's in. So, ito yung uh, makikita natin sa ating module um, part na what's in. So, this part, of course, this is a brief drill or a review to help you link and link the current lesson with the previous one. So, it it is very important for you to uh, read this part so that it will connect your existing knowledge to the new lesson then what's new so ano yung what's new so ito yung uh, makikita natin sa module na what's new in this portion the new lesson will be introduced to you in various ways such as story a song a poem a problem op opener an active or an activity or a situation so you have also to answer the following questions to the separate sheet. The same with the uh, pretest or yung what I know. Then what is it? So next naman yung was what is it? So anong gagawin natin sa wa what is it? Of course this section provides a brief discussion of the lesson. This aims to help you discover and understand new concepts and skills. So, mas maganda na basahin yung maigi ang portion na ito. So, it will help you to understand the lesson. Next, what's more? Okay, what's more? This comprises activities for independent practice solidify your understanding and skills of the topic you may check the answers to the exercises using the answer key at the end of the module so you have to answer this portion in the separate sheet then what I have learned so what I have learned so makikita natin or in questions. Yeah, so, dapat natin sagutan, sagutin natin dito. This includes questions or blank sentence paragraph to be filled in to process what you learned from the lesson. So, this question will sum up what you have learned from the uh, lesson presented. Then, what I can do. So, na yung what I can do. So, this will give you a chance to apply your knowledge in real life scenario so this section provides an activity which helps you transfer your new knowledge or skill into a real life situation or concerns so makita natin may activity dito tsaka may rubrics so the rubrics is also given on how the teacher will grade or rate your 
work so ito yung basihan namin kung paano namin kayo i-rate basis sa inyo hang uh, activity or your output next is the assessment so assessment so this is a task which aims to evaluate your level of mastery in achieving the learning competency so kung makikita natin yung assessment I think in this case we have 15 items multiple choice so please answer it with honesty and integrity because this test will determine on how far you have learned throughout this module then answer it in the separate sheet so lagyan nyo lang ng indicator or title na assessment same with the other activities you can answer it directly and of course it, it needs for you to show the solution then of course you have to uh, provide it then next is the additional activities so ano yung additional activities okay this is a task which aims to evaluate your level of mastery in achieving the learning competency so magsasagot din kayo dito your answer will be in the separate sheet then we have also the answer key part answer key so answer key this contains answers to all the activities in the module it helps to check your works kung tama ba or mali so, dito kayo mag-evaluate sa, inyo, sa inyong uh, mga uh, activities. Kung tama ba o mali. And please, take note, avoid focusing in the answer key just to finish your module. Kasi it will no longer, no, no longer help you to understand and achieve the objectives if we keep relying on this. So, I hope you understand. And of course, at the end of the module, you will also find the references. So references, this is a list of all sources used in developing this module. So what are the tasks, activities that need to be answered? O ano yung part of the module na inyong sasagutan? So first, we have what I know what's new what's more what I have learned what I can do assessment lastly is the additional activities so these are the part of the modules that need to be answered and your answer must be uh, in this separate sheet so I hope you learned something in this video hoping that this may help you in finishing your module so keep safe God bless and thank you